a question here about social media um, creativity or the energy to be creative and to post on to show up on social media. And this person wrote, you know, I haven't felt like posting or showing up for almost a month now. And I would say some people, for some people, it's like, I haven't done that for a year now <laughs> or for six months now. So a month is, is not even that long, but okay, fine, a month. And this person wrote, I was in such a good flow. And suddenly I felt tired of it all. I didn't want to force it. And I took a step back, but my social media energy hasn't come back thus far. And how do you deal with that? So I have a couple questions uh, for, for this person and for all of you who deal with this. Number one, what made you feel tired? Uh, was there some, yeah, so what you made, made you feel tired? So, for, so for example, uh, maybe, maybe you got, you know, some people, they got physically ill and of course that makes sense. And you, you need to rest and you, know, you don't post on social media and then getting back into momentum is just like getting back into momentum on anything. Like let's say the car needs to start and you have to push the car <laughs> before it starts rolling on its own. That's, that's hard work in the beginning, but then it starts rolling on its own. So the practicing the skills of joyful productivity to get back into momentum with your start of work ritual and your um, energy reboots and things like that. Um, and understanding the creativity muscle and things like that to kind of get into it. So what made, what made you feel tired? I'm curious about that. Um, or maybe you got a discouraging remark. So there's, there's different re there's different factors that have different maybe solutions or perspectives about it. So that's number one. Number two, I I'm curious, what inspired you to get started at all? What inspired you originally when you had the rhythm or momentum? What inspired that? And how can you, you know, borrow that or lean into that again? Is there a way you can talk to some friends about it, some colleagues about it to kind of re-inspire you? Talk to some clients or students about it to re-inspire you, you know, to, to, to do social media. In fact, one of the favorite things I do on social media um, that inspires me to do it is I basically answer questions. Um, ideally, you have questions that already came to you from students, clients, you know, fans or whatever. But even if you don't have questions from those, you can come up with questions. I can imagine my fans, when I talk about this, they probably have questions like this or like that, like starting with definitions, like what is, what is mindfulness? What's my, what's my definition? What, what's my perspective of it? You know, what, what do I, how do I approach it, right? From definitions to, well, but what about this? You know, I try to be mindful in this situation and it doesn't work, you know, or how do I remind me? You know, so there are going to be questions that you can imagine. And, and the questions are a response to um, your ideal audience member, your ideal, your ideal viewer, ideal reader, ideal client, and talking to them in your mind and heart um, can, can restart you there. And, and finally, the third thing is um, to consider forming an encouragement pod with several trusted friends who also want to be consistent on social media. You might have heard the term engagement pod. It's a, it's a term on social media where usually dozens of people, sometimes hundreds of people band together and say, all right, everyone, we're in this club where you have to comment on everybody's thing and everyone's going to comment on your thing. Uh, and people spend hours a day commenting on the 50 people they have to comment on. And so they can get the 50 comments back. That's called an engagement pod. And it's kind of inauthentic and it's not necessarily good for the algorithms either because the algorithms can pick that kind of that kind of thing up. But an encouragement pod is different. It's where the, the purpose is not to gain the algorithm, but the purpose is to encourage each other to say, let's get, let's get back into it or let's stay consistent with it. Uh, and listen, I'm gonna make sure I read, uh, like what, when I make a post, I'm gonna send it to you all. And maybe there's an agreement of, uh, one or two posts per week. So it's not too many, right? One or two posts per week. I'm going to send it to you. And when you do yours of the week, you send it to, to all of us. And then we will go and be in a, be a encouraging presence in the comments area. Or if we don't want to come a comment publicly, we can just send, send it, send you our private encouragement. So 
that if you form that kind of thing, just even with two other friends, right? Two other friends, you can be quite a blessing to them because they probably need it too. So uh, let me know if this is helpful.